is a review for the Elite Helmet by Inui, or Onui as it may well be called. It took about three years to develop and it weighs in at around 245 grams, making it one of the lightest helmets of this type on the market today. Using what Inui describe as an over-injected honeycomb skeleton, they've been able to reduce the volume and weight by around 30%, whilst still maintaining its integrity and its suitability for use with scooters, skateboards, inline skates and push bikes. It is not however suitable for skiing, snowboarding or any motorised sports. It comes in one size and is suitable for anyone with a head size between 54 and 59 centimetres. It comes fitted with 7.5mm Coolmax padded liners and also has 5mm and 10mm replacement liners in the box. It is also fitted with an adjustable tightening wheel. It costs £45 in the UK and that was back in January 2021. And here's how I felt it performed. If you've ever watched one of my reviews, you'll know that I'm not one for standing in front of a camera with a product talking. So in this video, like most or all of my other review videos, you're gonna see me skate. I haven't taken a fall using this, thankfully, and I hope I never have to rely on it. So I won't be able to comment on how well it protected my head. This review will be based on how the helmet felt during my skate sessions. I purchased this helmet with my own money and the views and opinions on this video are entirely my own. Inui or Ennui have had zero influence over that. <laughs> I've been rolling with this helmet on now for over a year and within that time virtually, not all, but virtually every skate session that I have been on, I have worn this helmet. My experience has been really good to the point where if I lost it and I needed to replace it with a new helmet, I would go straight to somewhere that sold this and buy another one. As far as I'm concerned, that's a pretty strong marker for a good product. And what do I feel makes this helmet so good? It's just so damn comfortable. The first thing that is really evident about this helmet is just how light it feels. As you can see I'm still wearing a helmet but it's very slim and very lightweight and that can't be overstated. It's extremely low profile for a helmet, it doesn't have that mushroom effect. Yes you're still wearing a helmet, yes that's still very evident but in terms of comfort I cannot rate this helmet highly enough. Once I've put this on I pretty much just forget about it. If you've ever worn a skate helmet You'll know it's pretty bulbous, kind of mushroomy. Not with this. I put this helmet on and at times when I stop I'll unfasten the chin strap. But apart from that, I really don't feel the need to take it off. It's not really noticeable at all. The tightening wheel is amazing to the point where I don't even really need to fasten the chin strap. This thing isn't going anywhere when it's on my head. If you're someone who wants something that feels more substantial, perhaps investing in a heavier duty helmet might be the way to go for you. But if you are someone who likes to city skate, urban freestyle, that type of thing, or if you're needing it for commuting, you're going to love this helmet. This thing is really comfortable and if that's what you're looking for in a helmet, go and get one. <laughs> I feel that there are any negatives here. Okay, I'll talk about a few things that could be improved, and it's really, really cosmetic. The liners that come with a helmet are these Coolmax liners, and you get 5mm in the box, you get 10mm in the box, and the helmet comes fitted with 7.5mm. These are attached to the helmet by the little sticky Velcro pads, and some of them have come off. 
also the turning wheel at the back which is a really good feature when I put this helmet on my head and adjust the wheel I don't even really need to fasten the chin strap it's so good but that turning wheel the glue has become unstuck and so that's a little bit loose. The actual Coolmax liners themselves have become a little bit sweaty and have started to deteriorate. However, this happened to the last helmet that I used and I'm pretty sure it's just a common thing that happens when you're wearing a product and you're sweating on it continuously. But again, it's really not a major issue and it certainly wouldn't put me off recommending this helmet. I did get in touch with Inui, getting feedback directly from the manufacturer is a nice element to add into the review and I'm grateful that Inui took the time to give me that feedback. So question one, how did you manage to produce such a slim and lightweight helmet? And Inui's response was that the helmet uses an over-injected honeycomb skeleton which greatly reduces the volume and the weight. Question two, is the design patented? Yes, it is a patented design. Question three, how does it compare to other Inui helmets in terms of safety rating and weight? news response was that this helmet offers the exact same level of protection. It only weighs, however, 245 grams, but it does comply with all the same regulations in terms of safety. Question four, why did you decide to release it in only one size? Inui's response was that it took three years to develop the technology and they could only invest in one mould so they decided to cover the most popular size according to their previous sales which is in fact between 54 and 59 centimetres but they do hope in the future to be able to offer more sizes with this helmet. <laughs> Add a little bit of context to this so you can maybe see. I've tried to take it from the widest part of my head. Yeah, 56, 56 and a half, let's say, a comfortable fit. 56 and a half centimetres. And that's the helmet on me. So let's tighten the wheel. That wheel's great. Not falling off. I mean, I'm still wearing a helmet, it's not like it's invisible, but. It's, once it's on, it doesn't move around, it's not heavy, it's not noticeable. I don't feel the, the need to continually take it off between starts and stops. When I'm out, it kind of just blends in. I don't really notice it much. It's a fantastic helmet, it really is, it's a, an awesome helmet. And if it broke, or if I lost it and had to replace it, I wouldn't look any other helmets, I would go straight to somewhere where I could purchase this and see what I could get the best price on it, but I would definitely just buy this helmet again. Inui Elite helmet definitely gets my boat. And finally I asked them if they had anything else that they would like to share and their response was that they will soon be offering more colours for this helmet. So that concludes my review of this Inui Elite helmet. I think it's safe to say that I really like this helmet and will continue to use it for the foreseeable. I hope it's answered your questions and given you more of an insight into this product yourself. If you do have anything else you'd like to ask, stick a question in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer it. Other than that, skate safe, take it easy, and I will catch you on the next roll.